Hello friends and welcome back to our series of tutorial on advanced embedded system development. These training courses targets advanced topics on embedded system like TCP IP stacks, real time operating systems, 32 bit processors, graphical user interface, TFT LCDs, memory card and mass storage, digital audio and much much more. So come join us and grow your skills, advance your career and move ahead in life, build your dream products and launch your startup. Hello and welcome back. So what is LWIP? LWIP stands for Lightweight TCP IP Stack and it is for Embedded System. So here I have opened the Wikipedia entry for LWIP and this LWIP it stands for lightweight IP and it is the widely used and open source TCP IP stack designed for embedded system and this LWIP was originally developed by Adam Dunkels at the Swedish Institute of Computer Science and it is now developed and maintained by a worldwide network of developers and this LWIP is very popular in embedded systems and it is in, uh, used by several big companies like Intel and uh, ST, Freescale, all embedded system vendors they generally use this LWIP as a standard TCP IP stack for their uh, microcontroller platform. So why you need a TCP IP stack? Whenever your design requires that your embedded system should be connected to internet uh, then you need a TCP IP stack. For example, you are making uh, any IoT enabled devices, for example some embedded system uh, which uh, collects data from some sensor and then uploads it to a server which is located on the internet so that other user can uh, use their PC or a mobile application or a laptop to log into some uh, website and from there uh, he or she can easily view the data, visualize the data in form of various graphs and charts. Uh, then you need uh, this TCP IP stack. On the other hand, if you want uh, your users uh, to operate some devices using the internet, for example, uh, using a cell phone or a website, uh, they would be able to control a device that is very very far away from them. Uh, uh, for example, on the other side of the city or uh, also maybe on the other side of the world, uh, then you need this TCP IP stack. Without this TCP IP stack, you cannot perform a standard communication over internet. So whenever you need to connect your embedded system, your smart devices to the internet, then you need a TCP IP stack. So what is special about this LWIP? So any devices uh, like your smartphone or your smartwatch or uh, bigger devices like your desktop or your laptop, they run big operating systems like Windows, Windows 11 or uh, uh, Mac OS or Linux or even uh, Unix. Uh, these all devices, uh, these devices which are capable of connecting to the internet, they all have an implementation of a TCP IP stack running inside the operating system. Uh, but uh, what is special about this LWIP? So all those uh, TCP IP implementation, those run on uh, bigger devices like your uh, smartphone or your desktop or your laptop. So their implementation is very big and uh, those uh, such big implementation of TCP IP stack uh, cannot be easily run on smaller embedded devices because these embedded devices uh, they are generally very resource constrained. Uh, by resource constraint I mean they have a very little processing power compared to your desktop or your smartphone. Uh, they generally run from few uh, hundred megahertz. Uh, while your our smartphones and desktop uh, they run over uh, 2 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz even 4 gigahertz so we can see that the processing power the cpu is comparatively very small and uh, they have a little processing power and on the other hand they also have a very small amount of ram uh, generally these small embedded devices, embedded microcontrollers, they generally have only a few KB of RAM uh, while our desktop or our even our smartphone they have uh, 8 or even 16 gigabytes of RAM. 
so the special thing about this LWIP is that it is specially designed for embedded system and it is easily able to run on smaller embedded system that have very little or uh, uh, very processing power and in a very small amount of RAM so this is the special thing about LWIP that is why this LWIP is uh, used in our embedded system smaller embedded system and this LWIP is fully open source and is highly portable. It is not tied to a specific platform for example STM32 uh, because this LWIP is distributed in form of uh, source code and it is pure C code and it can be compiled with a variety of uh, different compiler standard compiler standard C compilers and as we can know that standard C compiler is available for almost all different vendors of microcontrollers so we can easily run LWIP on NXP microcontroller on Freescale microcontroller or Texas instrument microcontroller or even as we are doing in this tutorial on STM32 microcontroller so it is highly portable and uh, on the other hand the network interface the actual hardware which uh, does the data transfer it is also not embedded inside it uh, for example we can uh, use this same TCP IP stack uh, with Ethernet that is wired Ethernet over cable uh, as we are doing in this tutorial and but it is not uh, tied to this specific interface that is Ethernet uh, it, it could easily be used with other interfaces like uh, wireless like Wi-Fi or or even GSM also so various physical layer uh, we can support uh, transport through various different physical layer even fiber optics uh, but in this tutorial we will focus only on uh, the physical layer which is Ethernet and we will use a uh, Ethernet trans receiver chip which is ENC 28J60 uh, which uh, uh, interfaces on the SPI port of the microcontroller and provide us with a Ethernet connection and now that you are familiar with TCP IP stacks and also this LWIP stack the rest of the course will be dedicated to understanding network programming in details how the protocol works and various different concept of network programming so that we can build successful uh, network embedded systems and we will also go deep inside this LWIP stack and we will learn everything that is required to implement this uh, network programming in our embedded system so that we can successfully uh, install this LWIP in our STM32 project interface it with the network interface like the Ethernet controller chip and then successfully send and receive data over the internet so thank you for watching uh, see you in the next lesson